Welcome back to another video tutorial brought to you by TheVirtualInstructor.com. Today we're going to be using the program Adobe Flash CS4, and I'm going to just show I'm going to show you how to do some basic frame by frame animation in here. It's real easy to do. Um, I'm I've, I've opened up a new Flash file, and this is an Action Script 3.0. We're not going to really be using the action script for this. We're just going to be doing some simple animation. Um, you'll notice I've got my standard stage set up here, and the stage is the white area, and that's basically uh, what's going to be on your screen when the movie is exported. Um, and it, Adobe has, or Flash has a preset size for that. You can change that size, however, by right clicking on the gray background, go to Document Properties and this little menu will come up and you can change it. You can see the dimensions are 550 by 400 pixels and the frame rate is 12, 12 frames per second. Uh, we're just going to leave all this the way it is for right now. <clears throat> Another way that, to change your frames per second is right here. Uh, that little blue number, we could, we could up that value or lower that value, but since we're going to be drawing each frame by hand, 12 frames per second is plenty. So here's my stage. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be drawing with a paintbrush and uh, creating some imagery and then I'm going to make it move. Um, so first of all I need to pick what color I want and right now on my fill color with the paint, or the paint bucket that's what color my brush is going to actually make. It's black, that's cool with me. Um, I can click on the paint bucket when I do, or the paint brush, excuse me, when I do that these options pop up at the bottom. This first option is the brush size. I can make it really small, or I can make it really large. For right now, we'll keep it on the small end. And I can also change the shape. We'll keep it a, a round brush right now. Um, now, like I said, I'm just going to draw a, uh, a basic little animated little sequence here for a second. But before I do that, let's talk about the timeline. The timeline's up here at the top in, in mine, although you can pick a different setup um, and maybe your timeline will be at the bottom. If you don't find your timeline, if you don't find it on your screen, you can click Control alt t to bring it up, or you can get a window and select timeline. Uh, I like to think of a window as you look through a window, so if you're having trouble finding anything on here, if you go up to Windows, it'll probably, or window, it'll probably help you find it. All right, uh, this thing right here, this little um, square with a circle in it is called a keyframe and right now it's a blank keyframe there's nothing in it since we're going to be drawing frame by frame we want to create some blank keyframes in here so to do that what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the next section and I'm going to hit the F6 button and you'll see it creates new keyframes for me and I'll just go ahead and create 15 of those so right now my animation is going to be a second and then three frames because it's 12 frames per second now I'm going to go back to the first keyframe and make sure that I've highlighted that, and that tells me what keyframe I'm working on. Okay. Uh, also, Flash works in layers, much like Photoshop and Illustrator, but maybe we'll talk about that more later. This is this little uh, tutorial is only about creating a basic animation. So we're going to click on the first keyframe. Okay. Then we'll make sure brush. Brush, paintbrush is selected. Then I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to draw something. And right now I'm just going to draw a circle. Okay. And I'm going to make this circle move from one side of the stage to the other. Okay. So I've drawn one circle. Now if I go up here and I click on the next keyframe, our circle disappears. Okay. But it'd be helpful to be able to see that. So to be able to see that, I'll click on this option right here. This is your onion skin. And when you click on the onion skin, just like with an onion skin, you see this thing is, is highlighted up here. This is going to tell me how many frames it's going to show me. I just want to see the frame that I've done previously, so I'm going to slide that back. And in our stage, you'll see I can see part of the drawing that I drew before. I can see it. It's a little bit transparent. So now in the next keyframe, I can draw my circle in a little different position, and that's going to create movement. Okay, it's going to create the illusion of movement. So now I can repeat that, go to my next keyframe, draw another circle, my next keyframe, another circle. And again, I'm doing this real quickly. And you'll be able to take this information and run with it and really create some, some great animations, I'm sure. And again, this is just basic frame-by-frame frame animation. And it's obviously called frame-by-frame frame animation because you're drawing each frame, OK? 
Okay, so let me just get to the end of this. Couple more frames to do. If you make a mistake, you can always go back and and erase some of your frames. And you'll notice that I kind of just went right off the stage with that. Um, that's okay, because what's off the stage you're not going to see anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to continue that. You wouldn't even see that one. Um, so our movie's going to end right there, because we're not even going to see that. So let's get rid of these frames. Now to do that, I can just right click on it and select remove frames. Okay, and you'll see it disappeared. So our movie is just going to be a little bit shorter than that. Now let's say I want to see what I've, what I've made. Well, I, if I hit enter, you can see it kind of plays it inside of the program. Um, but if I want to see it, how it's going to be exported with the, with the, uh, just the stage isolated, I can hit control enter and it exports my movie and it shows me what I've created. And that's basically how you do simple frame by frame animation in Adobe Flash CS4. I wish you the best of luck with your animations and thank you for watching this video tutorial by the virtualinstructor.com. Thank you.